Hi friends, this is Sarah from Crafting and Relaxing. Welcome. Thank you so very much for joining me. Today is the Bringing Back Basic Gray collaboration with Bourbon Creek Crafts. The goal of this is to use our Basic Gray paper stash. Basic Gray hasn't made paper in many years. They do fabric now. But Beth from Bourbon Creek Crafts and I both had paper in our stash and she said we should do a collaboration and use it. And then Kathy, who is Stampin' Cat on Instagram, decided to join us. And there will be links to Beth's channel and to Kathy on Instagram in the description below. So go ahead and check them out. This month I used Sugar Rush, that collection, and Wisteria, which I have used both of these before. In this collaboration. I'm not trying to use up my paper. I'm just trying to use it and have fun. So you might see collections pop in and out and I have some favorite papers in each of the collections. So I like to use them for different things. I made this journal last month. I don't know what my plan was then. Maybe I thought I was going to leave it blank as a kit or something, but I just couldn't leave this cover. And this is my absolute favorite paper out of this collection, this polka dot one. And so I combined it with another polka dot and a die and put Be Beautiful on the front with a big star. I love stars. I like to put them on everything. I just think this is super fun. I added a couple other little things to the journal just to dress it up, but not necessarily commit it to a specific direction yet. Little things that I had been working on. I took a stamp and stamped Choose Joy right there, put a butter piece of a stitched butterfly ephemera there, and the sticker and hope. And I think I have one other place where I put a stitched ephemera. Oh, and I put a little tag and tuck right there. Just dressed it up a little tiny bit, but still didn't finish it or commit it to any one direction. And I think now I'm done with it. I think now it either goes in the cupboard or I don't know. I was going to give it to Kathy because she gave me the paper, but she just doesn't want to take it from me. I don't know. It's cute. It needs to be used, Kathy. Okay, then I wanted to play with envelopes. Envelopes are fun to put into journals. Put them in like this, in a pocket. Look how cute it is. Or you could glue it on here and have it open up this way. Or you can washi tape them in the middle here. All sorts of fun ways that you can use them. You can just put them on a page and open them up. And the papers that don't speak to me in a collection often make the best envelopes because you can stamp on them or use your embellishments. You can decorate them once you put them in your journal, whatever you want to do. And I mean, this envelope is so neutral. It's going to go with like every single journal I make. And this one too, I don't love the pattern, but it goes with everything, doesn't it? This one I just loved. It's wisteria, so it's a little bit challenged directionally, but pretend it's supposed to be like that. So I made envelopes and I was playing around. This one I did because I loved the paper. These, I wanted to see how this one looked. I do love it as an envelope and it didn't speak to me the other way. And I can always use an envelope, even if it's not the, my favorite paper in the collection. Then this paper was out of this collection, the Wisteria, and it's kind of a muted, strange pattern. It's not a really cheerful pattern. Basic Gray has an artistic mixed media component to their patterns, and they're pretty busy. But I thought it was kind of great for like a pet sympathy card. It's a gorgeous floral, but it's not loud. You know, it's understated. So I took some blue from the collection, put it on the flowers, and then a best friend leaves a paw print on your heart. And for the dog, I just stamped the dog on craft paper and then fussy cut. And same thing here, except I put this one actually on a heart and used a scrap of craft. And I toyed with the idea of putting some paw prints on there. I don't know, I might. And this stripe wasn't a paper that I loved in the collection, but I like it because it's gender neutral and it has such a tiny, tiny detailed pattern. That's basic gray has so much going on in their patterns. They've got some distress kind of look in their patterns. 
dots in the middle, tiny dots, and then a faint blue stripe right there. Really detailed patterns. So I had those and then Heartfelt Sympathy. I love this floral and I've used it for some journal pockets before, but I thought it was also a gorgeous sympathy card. And then on this one, I used navy because I already had it die cut. I was kind of cheating. And I made a get well card with it. Had I been thinking, I probably should have die cut out of those, gotten myself a little circle or a background for sentiment. Like I could have used this purple and cut this cream piece out of it and then done cream on top. You know, if you want to be miserly with your papers, don't forget to die cut out of them. Those are my Bringing Back Basic Gray collaboration items. I hope you got some inspiration. And if you have basic gray paper in your stash, get it out, make a project, use the hashtag. Or if you just have some other paper that you love but you've been hoarding, think about what project you'd like to make with it that would make you happy. And get it out. Have some fun. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you're taking time for crafting and relaxing. Bye-bye.